What's up guys, we'll be taking a look at this lab, reflected cross-site scripting into a JavaScript string with angle brackets and double quotes, HTML encoded and single quotes escaped. So we can see from the lab title that obviously certain types of input while they are being reflected to the page are being sanitized in some form or another. Either they're being HTML encoded or they're being escaped as part of a JavaScript string. Really the trick here is reading between the lines and asking the question, well, what isn't being dealt with correctly and properly sanitized for display to the page? Let's take a look at the lab, let's find out. Let's start by searching for an arbitrary string and let's see where it's reflected in the page response. So we just fire open the dev tools. We can actually search for our arbitrary string. We can see that we get three matches. We get once inside the H1 tags. The second match is inside script tags. In other words, JavaScript. This is very likely what we're looking for. The clue is in the lab title here. We want to try and inject into this JavaScript string. So we can see that our search term is being assigned to a variable search term. So we have var search terms equals, and then inside single quotes, we have our search term. And usually we just look for a way to break out of this string. Obviously this is a single quoted string. So we can break out of the string sometimes by making use of a single quote. So for example, if I search for our arbitrary string again, but end with a single quote, we can try and tack an alert onto the end of this. Now there are a couple of ways of doing this. We can use the plus sign, which is going to concatenate in the case of strings, but this is a cross-site scripting attack and the plus symbol tends to get URL encoded. So it's common to actually use the subtract symbol instead, but the end result is going to be the same. So let's try this payload, Zen shell minus alert. Let's search for this Let's get a feel for how this is being rendered in the DOM. We'll actually have a look at the page source, in fact, so we'll see the direct response from the server. So we get var search terms equals Zen shell. Now we can see our injected single quote here, but it's not terminating the JavaScript string. The end of the JavaScript string is still here after our alert function. And that's because this intermediary single quote is being escaped. Notice that the response from the server is including a backslash right before the single quote. So when JavaScript looks at this string, it says, well, this is not a special character. The single quote is not here to end the string. It's actually part of the string. And JavaScript knows this because the backslash is actually escaping that single quote. So naturally the backslash itself is a special character. And as a result, it's possible to escape backslashes with other backslashes. And remember how we said the clue is a little bit in reading between the lines of the lab title. And we saw information about double quotes, single quotes, angle brackets, but notorious by its absence was the mention of the backslash. So it's possible that this particular lab is not dealing with backslashes successfully. So to return to our input, we know that the server is going to be providing a backslash right before our single quote injection. So if we provide our own backslash, the server then provides its backslash, we're technically escaping the server provided backslash, which means it's no longer going to function as a special character to escape the single quote. So we can have a payload that has a backslash, the end of our string minus the alert function. Now this won't work just yet, but it is a step forward. Let's see what kind of response we get from the server making use of this payload. Let's take a look at the page source. So we have var search terms. Now it may look as if we weren't able to break out of the string and that this minus alert is still inside the string, but the truth is it's not. This is now the full string because although there is a backslash before the terminating single quote, that backslash has been escaped by our own backslash, which we provided in the search input. So this is now a complete string we then have minus alert, but the problem we have is we still have this trailing single quote, which is enough to make this non-valid JavaScript. So the easiest thing we can do here is simply make use of a comment character after the alert. So that single quote and the semicolon both commented out at the end of the JavaScript line. So if we use a double forward slash, that's simply going to comment out the rest of the JavaScript. And although that means we're also commenting out the semicolon, that's not required in JavaScript. 
So let's head back to our search option. So we have a backslash single quote minus alert comment out the rest of the JavaScript. Let's click search. And there we go. We get the alert popped up to the page. Let's once again, have a look at the page source of that. So you can see how this worked. So we have var search terms equals, we have a string with an escaped backslash minus alert function, rest of the JavaScript line commented out with the double forward slash character. So that's pretty much it for this lab. I would say the most interesting takeaway is this idea that we can escape the escaping. So the server is successfully escaping single quotes, but it's not escaping backslashes and backslashes are the characters that are used for escaping. So we can provide our own backslash to escape the escaping that's taking place on the server. And as a result, we generate a valid cross-site scripting attack. All right. Hope it was helpful. Thanks very much for watching.